Hi there and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these really cute little baby booties. They are size three to six months. They range about four inches, maybe four and a quarter. I did these in colors. This is Graybeard, this is Aubergine, and of course white. Um, I wanted to do them in black, but that's a little hard to show you for a tutorial, so I went ahead and went a little bit lighter with it. But you can certainly choose your own colors, and it takes no time to whip these up. The hook that I'm using is a 4.5 millimeter. You'll need a tape measure just to measure the size of the sole, a yarn needle, a stitch marker, some scissors, and number four worsted weight yarn. So let's go ahead and get started. We are going to start with a slip knot. Wrap the yarn around your finger, hold it with your thumb. Bring the dangling piece back around. Hold them both with your thumb. Lift this piece over the first piece of yarn, lift up, and there's your slip knot. We're going to start by chaining nine. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. I'm going to do that seven more times. There's my chain of nine. Starting in the second chain from the hook, here is the first chain, here is the second chain. Place two half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. Yarn over, insert, grab the yarn, pull it through, three loops, yarn over, pull through all three. Before I go any further, I'm going to grab my stitch marker and place it in my first stitch. That way I'll know where we're going to slip stitch. Place one more half double crochet in the very same stitch. Yarn over, insert, grab the yarn, pull it through, three loops, yarn over, pull through all three. Place one half double crochet in the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, Five, and six. In the very last chain, you're going to place four half double crochet in the very same stitch. One, Two, three, and four. Now on this dangling piece of yarn, I'm going to pull it closed just a bit. Now I'm going to tuck my yarn as I go. Feel free to weave yours in at the end if you don't feel comfortable tucking. That's just my preference. Place one half double crochet in the next six stitches. Go underneath, make sure to go under both loops. I'm going to place this dangling piece of yarn right here on top of my hook so it will be tucked as I go on each stitch. That's two, three, four, five. 
five. And six. Place two half double crochet in the very last stitch. One. And two. Now we're going to slip stitch into this very first half double crochet that we created in our round. So I'm going to remove my stitch marker. I'm going to insert under both loops, grab the yarn, pull it through, and then pull it through the one on my hook. And that is called a slip stitch. And I'm going to chain one. That is the end of round one. You should have 20 total stitches. To begin round two, place two half double crochet in the first two stitches. So two half double crochet here and two half double crochet here. Yarn over, insert, go under both loops, grab the yarn, pull it through, three loops on your hook, Yarn over, pull through all three. Again, I'm going to mark my very first stitch. I'm going to place one more half double crochet in the same stitch. Yarn over, insert, go under both loops. Grab the yarn, pull it through, three loops, yarn over, pull through all three. Next stitch, two half double crochet in the same stitch. That's one. And two. Place one half double crochet in the next five stitches, one in each stitch. One. Two. Three. Four, and five. Place two half double crochet in the same stitch. One, and two. We're going to place two double crochet in the next four stitches. So two double crochet here, two double crochet, two double crochet, and two double crochet. To do a double crochet, you'll yarn over, insert, go underneath both loops, grab the yarn, pull it through. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. You'll have two loops remaining. Yarn over and pull through the remaining two. We're going to do that one more time in the same stitch. Yarn over, insert, go under both loops, grab the yarn, pull it through, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the remaining two. We're going to do that three more times. Two in this one, two in this one, and two in this one. Next stitch, place two half double crochet.
Place one half double crochet in the next five stitches. Place two half double crochet in the next two stitches. So two half double crochet and two half double crochet. Let's do the first one. One, go into the same stitch. It's two, go into the next stitch and place two half double crochet. One and two. If you're keeping your booty all the same color, you will remove your stitch marker, go under both loops, grab the yarn, pull it through, and then pull it through the one on your hook, and you'll chain one. But since for this tutorial I'm changing colors, I'm going to remove that slip stitch. This is the very last stitch we created. So I'm going to cut my yarn, pull this out. I'm going to go into the first stitch we created, go under both loops, pull the yarn through. I'm gonna come back into the very last stitch we created and go in the back loop and the loop directly underneath it and then pull it through and that creates a nice invisible finish now I'm tie off and weave in my yarn there is the end of round two you should have a total of 30 stitches this should be very close, right at four inches. To begin round three, I'm gonna insert my hook in the middle of the booty, and I'm gonna attach my yarn, bring that through, make a simple tie. And I'm gonna tuck this yarn as I go. So I'm going to chain one to secure. To begin, we're going to place one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around the sole. We're going to start with the one right next to where we tied on. So you're gonna yarn over and go through both loops. And I'm just gonna lay my yarn right over that hook, grab the yarn, pull it through, and yarn over and pull through all three. Now I'm gonna Mark my very first stitch so I know where to slip stitch. Okay, we're gonna yarn over, go into the next stitch, go under both loops, lay that yarn right on top of the hook, grab the yarn, pull it through, yarn over, pull through all three. One more, yarn over, insert your hook, Go under both loops and lay that dangling piece right on top of your hook. Grab the yarn, pull it through, yarn over and pull through all three. So go ahead and place one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around and I'll meet you back at the end of the round and we'll finish it up together. Go ahead and pause the video. Once you have placed one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. You're gonna remove your stitch marker and slip stitch into that very first stitch that we created in the round and chain one. And that is the end of round three. You should have 30 total stitches. To begin round four, 
Place one single crochet in the next 10 stitches, one in each stitch. So you're going to insert, grab the yarn, pull it through, yarn over and pull through two. Just gonna mark my first stitch in the round. And we're going to place nine more. Make sure to go under both loops. So that's 10 single crochet. Next, you're going to place one half double crochet decrease. To do so, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook, make sure to go under both loops, grab the yarn, pull it through. There's three loops on your hook. Yarn over once more, go into the very next stitch, go under both loops, grab the yarn, pull it through. There's five loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all five. Next, we're going to do a double crochet decrease. To do so, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, go underneath both loops, grab your yarn, pull it through. There's three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over once more, insert into the next stitch, go under both loops, grab the yarn, pull it through. There's four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Three loops left on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. We're gonna do this two more times. Yarn over, insert, Grab the yarn, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert into the next stitch, grab the yarn, pull it through, four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. One more time, yarn over, Insert, grab the yarn, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert into the next stitch, grab the yarn, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all three. We're going to do one half double crochet decrease. You're going to yarn over, insert your hook, grab the yarn, pull it through, yarn over, go under both loops, grab the yarn, pull it through, yarn over and pull through all five. And finally, we're going to do 10 single crochet, one in each stitch. Insert, grab the yarn, pull it through, yarn over, pull through both. We're going to slip stitch into the very first stitch we created and chain one. And that is the end of round four. And you should have 25 total stitches. To begin round five, we're going to place one single crochet in the next eight stitches, one in each stitch. Insert your hook, grab the yarn, pull it through two loops, yarn over, pull through both. Place my stitch marker in my first stitch. Next, we're gonna place two half double crochet decrease. So for the first one, we're gonna yarn over, 
insert your hook, go under both loops, grab the yarn, pull it through, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, grab the yarn, pull it through. There's five loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all five. One more time. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, go underneath both loops, grab the yarn, pull it through, there's three loops. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, grab the yarn, pull it through, there's five loops. Yarn over, pull through all five. The very next stitch, we're going to do one half double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook, go under both loops. Grab the yarn, pull it through. There's three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three. We're going to do one half double crochet decrease in the next two stitches. Yarn over, insert your hook, go under both loops. Grab the yarn, pull it through. Yarn over once more. Go into the next stitch. Go under both loops. Grab the yarn, pull it through, five loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all five. One more half double crochet decrease, yarn over, insert your hook, go underneath both loops, grab the yarn, pull it through, yarn over once more, insert your hook into the next stitch, grab the yarn, pull it through, there's five loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all five. And finally, we'll finish off with eight single crochet to the end of the round, one in each stitch. Insert, go under both loops, grab the yarn, pull it through. There's two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through both. Once you have reached the end of your round, you're going to slip stitch into the very first stitch we created. Remove your stitch marker. Go under both loops, grab the yarn, pull it through, and then pull it through the one that's on your hook. And chain one. That is the end of round five. You should have 21 total stitches. To begin round six, we're just going to place one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. So we're going to yarn over, go into the first stitch, grab the yarn, pull it through, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. And I'm going to mark my first stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch. Go under both loops, grab the yarn, pull it through, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. Go ahead and continue doing one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around until you reach back to the beginning. You should have 21 total stitches. Go ahead and pause the video and I'll meet you back at the end of the round. So I just completed my 21st stitch. Now I'm going to change color again. If you're keeping the booty all the same color, then you just slip stitch into this first stitch that you created. But since I'm going to change color, I'm going to remove my stitch marker. And instead of slip stitching, I'm going to place an invisible finish. I'm gonna insert my needle under the very first stitch we created. And then I'm going to come back through and go into the very last stitch we created, the back loop and the one directly underneath it, and pull it through. And then I'm just going to tie off and weave in my end. So if you're keeping all the same color, hold on just a moment. We're going to tie on with a new color and we'll be right there with you. So that is the end of round six. You should have 21 total stitches. To begin round seven, I'm gonna go ahead and tie on. I'm gonna find my middle 
bring my yarn through, make a simple tie, and I'm going to tuck as I go. I'm going to chain one to secure. I'm going to repeat round six. It's one half double crochet in each stitch. So you're going to repeat this for round seven through 11. Okay, so I'm going to tuck as I go, yarn over, go into the next stitch, grab the yarn, pull it through, yarn over, pull through all three, Next stitch, insert your hook, grab the yarn, pull it through, yarn over, pull through all three. Go ahead and continue that. For each round, you're going to do one half double crochet in each stitch. Once you reach the end, remove your stitch marker, slip stitch into that very first stitch, chain one and continue the process. I will meet you back at the end of round 11 so we can finish up together. I will put the instructions on the screen, so go ahead and pause the video and we'll see you back at the end of round 11. So I have finished my last stitch. I'm going to remove my stitch marker cut my yarn and create our last invisible finish. I'm going to go into the very first stitch we created in the round, pull it through, go into the very last stitch we created in the round, go through the back loop and the one directly underneath it, pull it through. I'm going to go back out and tie off on this outside because we're going to fold it down. That is adorable. So I would love to see your results if you'd like to share them. You can share them by using hashtag KPBaby and feel free to tag me on any social media. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tutorials. I thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day ahead.